So my time has come, I'll lay my weapons down Every avenue, run dry and simple plank can't wait to find the reasons I can't wait to feel the seasons On my face On my face What's up, everybody? Welcome to the start of a reading vlog. As you can see, I have my friend Devin here. Most of you know who she is. But we have, so before this, you've probably seen a ton of B-roll. If not, you're about to see a ton of B-roll because yesterday we spent our whole morning at a coffee shop and just hung out, read, drank tons of like we bought like four drinks from this coffee place because it was amazing so you're gonna see a ton of b-roll from yesterday we just hung out but our goal today is to do more reading we did do a little bit of reading yesterday Devin will fill you in on that um we also went to barnes and noble and so i wanted to show you guys the book i got because it's been highly anticipated for me it's called the gathering dark and if you can see it sorry Devin. no you're good if you can see it here it's um it's an anthology of folk horror so there's a bunch of different authors who uh wrote stories in this so i'm probably going to read one of those today just to like get started because we're not at the same coffee shop today we're at starbucks we're just going to start our morning off by reading and hanging out together because look, that's what bookish friends do that's like the best time ever literally when we were planning our trip i was like devin do you just like want to read together and she was like absolutely most people think that's weird but it's fine it's a party up here um so we are going to get starbucks which is behind us we're going to read then we're going to go swim and then her hotel lobby that she's staying at is like I don't even know how to describe it. It's, it's very like cute. it's like a reading paradise. Um, so we'll definitely vlog some there. But most of this vlog is just going to be like a cozy weekend reading vlog. A lot of B-roll, which I don't typically do, but we're out doing stuff. So, yeah, uh, I'm going to start the Raven Boys today. Yesterday, I read a little bit of the Paul Bears Club, um, but I've really been waiting to read the Raven Boys because we're doing that read along right now. And it's just on my mind. And so I don't feel like I can concentrate on anything else until I start that. So that's what I'm going to go read. The like 11 ish pages I did read of the Paul Bears Club yesterday, I absolutely loved. It's like, it's very comedic. And if I can remember, oh, wait, you have it. Okay. I will let Devin take over now because she is reading. Yes, this. this is what I am going to read because, again, I've really been wanting to get into it. I have a tough time sometimes reading physical books. So uh, I mostly read like audiobooks and on my Kindle and on my phone. So I wanted to, at first, I wasn't sure if I really wanted to annotate this. I'm, I'm, Zach is teaching me how to annotate. I don't know if you can actually see the little tabs. It, it does actually come up, yeah. But I'm trying, okay, because, um, as I think you showed this before in a video, but there are already like, uh, a previous, like, there's kind of the one main story and then a friend who's found this manuscript. This is sort of like the premise um is also kind of annotating so i thought should i be annotating a book that already has annotations but there were so many pop culture references that i thought were kind of fun that i wanted to make note of and there were some quotes as well as things i really identified with uh and so i wanted to note all of those things so for me it's like if i have purchased a physical book it's a big deal it's a huge deal and so i was like i really think that i want to try annotating so zach Jack is trying to help me annotate, which probably sounds really silly to most of you who are doing annotations, but I have a history of starting these like little hobbies, like journals. Notebooks. I have a ton of notebooks with like two pages in it. Like, oh, yeah, this time I'm really going to like take notes. 
and then something happens along the way and it doesn't finish. But uh, I am 20 something pages in, so, so kind of early, but I love the style of writing. I think as other people have said, if you've read Paul Tremblay before, this is not typical of his, his writing. It's a little um, lighter in terms of the like um horror yeah i was gonna say like tension and uh suspense suspense although you are wondering what is happening because even in 20 something pages there's been some foreshadowing and that's also something i'm annotating is the foreshadowing so i hope that i can get a good chunk of the way through this it's a really easy in terms of like you know um it's quick a, quick read quick i do not read horror and i am enjoying this so yeah. and it's easy to read and understand yeah yeah back, so back to the regular scheduled program no that's i think that was it okay that's all you have yeah i love the cover too so it i mean very nice yes. if i'm gonna purchase a physical book i want it to be you also need to know that devin reads hardcover books with the cover on it oh, I do. which was a point of contingency yesterday that we discussed for probably like 25 minutes about why in the world you would read so if you're watching this vlog let us know in the comments if you read with the hardcover slipcase it can on. be a nice little bookmark along the way as you but, see i don't have a, like i have some like ruler thing for my planner that, oh man you just yeah i my books. habits drives that crazy correct no no book sleeve she also just like packs books by like throwing them in a bag and i'm like where yeah where are the book sleeves where like what if the i just i cannot okay anyway it is like 9 30 in the morning neither of us have had breakfast or coffee so you're getting us in rare form which is eh, consider yourself blessed um we are gonna go also just really quick behind the scenes stuff we it took us 20 minutes to start filming this video because we went we got a cute place outside starbucks it was a nice cute vibe the lighting was great the music was blasting so loud yeah and, i think they must have it loud to try to in like the assumption that there's going to be a lot of people and kind of ambient noise and they're going to drown that out it's very loud and there's yeah. also a car wash across the street yes yeah, so you it's can like kind of hear like yeah, <laughs> white noise <laughs> yeah so um yeah time to go get some breakfast and some coffee and hang out and read so enjoy the b-roll that you guys see in this cozy vlog we will update you guys probably this evening about yeah. what reading we got done today um so yeah also tomorrow you guys know katie we're gonna vlog that if that's okay yeah okay um you're like no and i'm like okay anyway um <laughs> uh her and katie you guys know katie because you've seen her on the channel before she's been in vlogs she's been in videos a good friend of mine is gonna meet devin who if you guys didn't know is from out of town she's just here visiting us um so they're gonna meet for lunch and that's gonna be really cute and cool so yeah anyways uh we'll see you guys later bye one so we went to starbucks we had we were there for Three hours. Yeah, good Quite chunk a, of time. I feel like you're gonna. That's okay. That's good. It's gotta focus. There we go. Are you ready? Yes. Maybe. Okay. I have to be professional because you told me I'm a professional vlogger. <laughs> All right, what's up, everybody? So I might be a little bit quieter, but you'll still be able to hear because my mic is good. Also, there's like music playing in the background that hopefully I don't get copy written, copy written, copy wrote. Who knows? Um, anyways, we are in the hotel lobby where Devin is staying. Um, we have five dogs and three cats and a tiny house. So not a literal tiny house, but our house is small. So when Devin comes to visit, she stays in this really elaborate, nice hotel. So that's where we are tuning in from. Uh, we just survived a torrential downpour. And so we had a nice outfit change, um, but it's been a good day. We, we read for a while at Starbucks and then we watched some booktube and then we went out to Mexican and then now we're back updating the vlog. But when we were at Starbucks, I was reading The Raven Boys. So you guys know we're doing the read along of this. I read 50 pages of it while we were there, which is a lot for me. And um, I love this book. It, I was telling Devin, I was like, this book is going to become my entire personality. And I'm very excited to see what everyone else has to say about it for the readathon. It's really, I love the atmosphere. It's a very fall book and it's very unique in the sense that like it's about ghosts and psychic readings and things like that. But like instead of being able to predict um, 
like to be able to talk to ghosts of people who have already died they can see when someone's going to die in 12 months so it's very interesting there's also an academy and that's where the raven boys you know it's called the raven boys that's where they like they got their name from the school so there's like an like a like an academic backdrop of it and it's just it's really really good I, i've read it before and i didn't love it but my reading tastes have changed so much that i'm just i'm really really loving it this time around so um i don't know if i'm gonna read this this evening or i have like four reads going right now it's just it's a mess but it's fine um so yeah that's our plan we're gonna read the rest of the evening watch go try to find a sprint after this so my annotations are going oh, look at that. pretty well, look at that. I know. Um, I do think it is causing me to read a little bit more slowly, which I don't think is necessarily a bad thing. I am really enjoying Tremblay's writing and the different ways he's including not a ton of, but some kind of mixed media. So there's like some interviews, there's like a reprint of like a microfilm. And in addition to the annotations that I kind of talked about that are from like the character who finds the manuscript. And it's very, very funny. I'm getting to some, I think of like really good sort of turning points and I'm loving it so far. I'm about page 90 ish. And I am very intrigued to see where this is going to go because where I am right now feels like some pretty big things are happening. So I'm kind of curious about if there's some turning points, how is this going to end? Um, I have decided to tab for, uh, pop culture references for things that I strongly identify with and foreshadowing foreshadowing and um I would say the pop culture references and the foreshadowing are the most significant in orange and pink but um yeah I'm really really liking this and I think that it's probably going to be I'm, I'm saying now I think it'll be a five-star read for me oh really I think so <clears throat> what's purple you have like two purples purple <clears throat> is quotes okay but I've, I'm, I'm having a little bit of trouble green. I'm having a little bit of trouble with that with with quotes because sometimes the quotes are like also things I identify right. with. Yeah. So they're kind of running into each other a bit, but mm -hmm. I think that's okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm really, really liking it. I'm enjoying annotating it. And I've written actually in pencil in a few places as well. So I'm enjoying the process and learning a lot about uh, annotating. Every five seconds. Hey, Zach, I have an annotation question. <laughs> I mean, this is the first time that I've annotated with kind of more purpose than just like, I want to come back to this spot. Like it's the first time I've annotated with like categories. Do you think that you will continue it past this book? I think so. You're gonna try to make it a habit. I think so. Definitely with the books that I'm teaching, I probably mm. will most certainly. Like, wouldn't that help you a ton? I think it would. Yeah. Especially if I though I wanted if I could categorize things I definitely wanted to to point out in class. So yeah, I'm learning a lot and I love it. And the book is great. I highly recommend it. I was going to say people who don't know you <clears throat> might not know that you're a teacher. But yes. Um, I teach at a university. I teach in the English department. I teach writing and uh, professional writing, like composition, professional writing, rhetoric courses. And I direct our university writing center. So when I teach books, the annotations, I usually just kind of put tabs everywhere. They weren't as like nice as this. You so. said they look like a peacock that got caught in a fan or something. Yeah. They're like fluttered all over. <laughs> but that looks nice. You yeah, like this looks job. really nice. Thank you. Yeah. Some of them are crooked and they're not all the same size, but it's a process. It looks really good though. It and I'm very critical of tabbing. It doesn't have to be perfect is what I'm realizing. I right. just, it just needs to be able to where I can kind of pick it back up. But right. uh, I am enjoying the narrative and the humor here. Mm -hmm. And I- You have laughed out loud a few times. I have, I really like it. So if you're looking for something, I think for fall that has like an atmosphere and some tension and some friendship stuff, and there's like a vibe of spookiness, but not outright scary or anything like that. It's just like a- it's a vibe. Would that be in a horror section? I don't think so. I think it was in, I don't actually know. Well, when we got it, it was at the new release section, but like, yeah, where, it was in the where would you shelve it? Shelf it? Shelf it? Miss, Shelf it? It's not really a mystery either. I don't know. It's a tough to, he's usually in sort of suspense. Right. Remember we struggled at that one Barnes and Noble. We were like, what? But we did not find it in horror. Yeah. The one in Roanoke. I know, because, yeah. because he writes a lot of suspense, horror suspense stuff. So they probably are putting him there because that's what he does. But this is a quite a departure. And I think that he is incredibly 
creative and innovative with the way that he's writing this. I'm constantly impressed with how he's making this work. Well, it is a Buddy Reed-ish, so I will be reading it too at some point, so you guys will hear about that at some point. But yeah, it's really nice just spending time together and the rest of the evening, <clears throat> I don't think there'll be a need to update till tomorrow. So we're gonna work on a few things for different things and then we are going to read. read. If we can find some sprints and then yeah, hang out for the rest of the evening. So we will see you guys uh, tomorrow. Bye. All right, hello. I'm gonna have to speak louder because we are in the car. Um, but it is Monday at 12.10. We are heading to Red Robin to meet Katie. And then we are gonna go to Barnes & Noble and I'm probably gonna buy some books because life is stressful and I deserve them. And that is not up for discussion. Uh, anyway, so I'm gonna buy books. And then, so there's gonna be like a small book haul. It might be one book, it might be three books, it might be five books. I don't know what's gonna happen. Um, so yeah, that's what we're gonna do. And you know how we were watching booktube talking about how people do things that like they don't realize? Mine is like, so yeah. Uh, anyway, we are gonna go eat Red Robin. Then we're gonna go to Barnes and Noble and hang out and talk and look at books and I'm gonna buy books. And then depending on who, buy, who buys books, if it's just me, I'll give you guys a book haul on my way back. Devin is driving right now. I'm not, I'm not doing this and driving. Um, so that's our afternoon plan, I think. I haven't read very much this weekend. It was more of like a hang out, occasionally read, but hang out with your friend weekend. So it's been very cozy and very nice. It's raining right now. It's a very fall. I have a hoodie on, even though it's probably a little too warm for a hoodie, but we're gonna make it happen. Yeah, you go right. Yep. Uh, like I said, Devin is driving. So that's really all the updates I have for you right now. I'll try to get some B-roll and then we'll do the book haul. And then sadly, Devin has to return back to her hometown and we will be apart once again. But um, all beginnings have ends and then they begin again. Bye. All right, hello friends. We are at Barnes & Noble, so I'm trying to be quiet because vlogging in public is very uncomfortable, but Katie and Devin were like, you should just do it. So here we are. Um, and we've all purchased books of some sort. So we're gonna do a little book haul. I'm gonna go first and then Devin and then Katie. Um, so yes, that's my new tagline. Um, so yes. <laughs> okay, so I did get two books. Uh, I got The Sun Bear Trials by Aiden Thomas. He's the author of Cemetery Boys. And I'm going to read Cemetery Boys before Katie ends our like 11 year friendship, 10 year friendship. Um, so that has to happen. But this is his next book and it does have a trans main character and it's like a game, sh like a like a God's game competition kind of thing. And yeah, it's the Barnes & Noble exclusive edition. But to be honest with you, I don't have a clue what makes it exclusive. There's nothing like super cute about it. I mean, it's got a soul. And I mean, I would assume all the copies have this map. I don't maybe there's an extra story i i don't it's a bonds and noble exclusive for what i don't know um and then the next one i got is called run away with me it's by mila it's by mila gray and i've heard a lot of people talking about her romance books but i found out they were ya so i was like i don't have time for that but everybody says they're really well written and the characters are really well done so i was like okay maybe i can do a ya romance if it's actually that good and when i was reading what it's about it's a it's a like exes like yeah, I believe they're, yeah, they're exes. It's exes to lover, so second chance. And that's one of my favorite tropes. And also it's about ice hockey. And I'm planning on doing a video of sorts about books with either sports or ice hockey. So that's kind of why I got this. And yeah, one of my really good friends um, on Instagram, Pam loves this author, so I'm hopeful. All right. Okay. <clears throat> All right, so I purchased um, The Girl from the Sea, which I've been wanting to read and I can never seem to get at my library. And I'm planning on writing about my love and kind of new obsession of books about water, things in the water, creepy vibes in the water. So I'm going to write about that on a blog. And uh, this... Links. Oh, yeah. I'm going to... We'll, we'll link the blog below. So yeah. once I write that post, you can yeah. see all the books about the water or the sea. And I just Sorry. love 
the illustrations in this graphic novel and I like to read graphic novels occasionally. So this was one I had heard a lot of people recommend. Um, it, I don't know a ton about it, but I know that it is YA and that it is sapphic and it is about um, the, water. the water, the girl going through it. <laughs> um, there's a mysterious girl that is, um, is that the main character Morgan meets and suddenly she doesn't feel so alone with things that her mom is going through. And so, um, you know, there's some hidden secrets and things that you can't expect and maybe stuff that's unexpected. I also thought it was like really cool how some of the like yes. um, text and media were represented because that's just a thing that I uh, find really cool how technology, different technologies are represented. So I'm excited to and read more about this. Oh yeah, I mean, hello, please. Yeah, so cute. All right, switching intermission, switching seats. Well, yesterday we had an outfit check. Today yesterday we, we had an outfit change. <laughs> Today we have a seat change. We're just switching places so that we don't get other people <laughs> in the frame except our our team. So next up is Katie, who you guys know we've been hanging out with today and you guys have seen in videos. So this is like her 10th appearance on the channel. So that's, you know, hello. Hello. Also, I'm wearing the same shirt that I always wear every oh, time yeah, I go do. about I and mean, a cat and a good book. Nope. Because, yes. Okay, oh, I have that. five cats at home. Anyway, I also got the Sun Bear Trials. Oh, wait, 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 this will be cute. Yeah. Yeah. So cute. Um, this, I love Cemetery Boys, um, as Zach has told you, and I, I really want him to read it. Maybe one day he actually will, um, or I'll just friend him. We'll see. So, this might be the last time on the vlog. We'll see. <laughs> All right. The next one I got is The Secret Life of Albert N. Twistle. And um, I don't really know a lot about what this is about, <laughs> except that he is forced into retirement and what is he supposed to do with his life now? But everybody says it's really cute and I like little cozy reads and I also really like British writing. So, yeah. And the last one, I'm really into witches right now. It's start beginning of spooky season. And so I... Um, got Alex Harrow's uh, Once and Future Witches, which I love the 10,000 Doors of January. It was a great book. And uh, also just finished Cackle by Rachel Harrison and, and I'm working on Practical Magic. So this is like a perfect uh, flight, as you will, to go with those other two books. So yeah, that flight. is what I got, yeah. All right, so I did actually figure out what makes it exclusive. And it's that the author took chapter four and annotated it so that's a good if you get the barnes and noble exclusive that's what you get all right can i see all of our books here like look at this this will probably end up on the thumbnail which i did not purchase all of these but in the <laughs> thumbnail would be misleading and make it look like i did because we can't all Fit okay. right here for a That's good okay. thumbnail. Is that okay with you guys? Yeah. Behind the scenes exclusive yeah. content you're getting here. All right. Um, will there be a need for us to end later? Could be you think I should just end the vlog now? Um, yeah. I mean, I've only read twenty more pages since the last time I updated. Okay. About Paul Bear's Club, and I don't think you've read more. I have not. I'm probably gonna leave this discussion in. Oh, that's fine. Also. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we started with where do I look into the camera? Correct. Now, now we're like, we're at, like, should we end it? But we're also professional <laughs> vloggers. <laughs> at least we're the correct types this time. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, I don't think we have much more to add though. So people will probably want to say bye to you, and there's no one oh, behind you okay. right now. Oh wow, that was really close to my face. <laughs> <laughs> bye. All right, guys, thanks for uh, watching this vlog and a very special thank you to our patrons. And then don't forget to check out Devin's blog, which will be linked in the description box below. And um, I'll catch you guys in the next video.